The Vikings are known for their seafaring skills, raiding and trading throughout Europe during the Middle Ages. But where did they come from and what was their early history? In this video, we'll explore the origins of the Vikings and their early history in Scandinavia. The term Viking refers to the people who lived in what is now Denmark, Norway, and Sweden between the 8th and 11th centuries. These people were not a homogeneous group, but rather a collection of tribes and clans who shared a common culture and language. The early history of the Vikings is shrouded in mystery, but we know that they were farmers and fishermen who lived in small communities throughout Scandinavia. They were skilled metalworkers, producing intricate jewelry and weapons, and they had a strong tradition of storytelling and poetry. Around the 8th century, the Vikings began to explore and trade with other lands. They sailed their longships across the North Sea to England, Scotland, and Ireland, and eventually made their way to the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and even North America. The Vikings were also known for their raids, which were initially aimed at acquiring wealth and goods. However, as the raids became more frequent and violent, they began to take on a more political dimension, with some Viking leaders seeking to establish territories and kingdoms in other lands. The early Viking Age is typically dated from the 8th century, when the first Viking raids were recorded, to the late 11th century, when the Norman conquest of England marked the end of the Viking era. In Viking society, men were typically the warriors and providers for their families. They would go on raids, hunt for food, and protect their homes. However, women were not restricted to domestic roles and were also involved in trade and craft work. Some women even became warriors and leaders, such as the legendary Viking shield maiden Lagertha. Viking society had a hierarchical structure with different social classes. At the top were the jarls, or nobles, who held political power and owned large estates. Below them were the carls, or freemen, who were free landowners and farmers. At the bottom were the thralls, or slaves, who were often prisoners of war or captured during raids. However, some thralls could earn their freedom and become freemen. In Viking society, daily life revolved around farming and trading. Most Vikings were farmers who relied on the land for their livelihoods. They grew crops such as barley, oats, and rye, and raised livestock such as cattle and sheep. Vikings were also skilled traders, and they traded goods such as furs, honey, and weapons with other societies. The Norse pantheon consists of a diverse array of characters, each with their own unique traits and stories. At the top of the pantheon is Odin, a powerful figure who presides over war, wisdom, and magic. He is often depicted as a wise old man with a long white beard and a single eye. Another prominent figure in the pantheon is Thor, a strong and brave warrior who wields a magical hammer that allows him to control the elements. He is often portrayed as a muscular man with flowing red hair. Other notable characters in the pantheon include Freya, a figure associated with love and fertility who is often associated with beauty and abundance, and Loki a trickster figure who is known for his cunning and mischievous nature. In addition to the gods and goddesses of the Norse pantheon, Viking mythology is also filled with a variety of mythical creatures. These creatures often have a symbolic meaning and are used to represent various aspects of the natural world. For example, the dragon Nidhogg is a fearsome beast that is said to live at the base of the world tree, gnawing on its roots. This creature is often associated with chaos and destruction, and represents the forces of nature that threaten to undo the world. One of the most significant achievements of the Viking Age was their discovery and settlement of North America. This occurred around the year 1000 when a Norse expedition led by Leif Erikson landed on the shores of present-day Newfoundland, Canada. They established a small settlement known as Vinland, which is believed to have lasted for several years before being abandoned. In addition to their travels to North America, the Vikings also explored and settled in other parts of the world, including Russia, the Mediterranean, and the Middle East. 
They established trade networks that spanned thousands of miles and played a significant role in shaping the cultural and economic landscape of the regions they visited. The Vikings were known for their distinctive weaponry, which was designed to be both practical and lethal. The most common weapon used by Vikings was the sword, which was often accompanied by a shield. Axes were also popular, particularly the long-handled battle axe known as the Dane Axe. Other weapons used by the Vikings included spears, javelins, and bows. In addition to their primary weapons, Vikings also used a variety of secondary weapons such as knives, daggers, and maces. These weapons were often used in close combat or as backup weapons if the primary weapon was lost or broken. Vikings were skilled tacticians and used a variety of strategies and tactics to gain the advantage in battle. One of their most effective tactics was the shield wall, in which warriors would stand shoulder to shoulder and interlock their shields to form a defensive wall. This tactic was particularly effective against enemy archers and allowed the Vikings to advance on enemy lines. Another common tactic used by the Vikings was the hit-and-run raid, in which a small group of warriors would launch a surprise attack on an enemy village or settlement and then retreat before the enemy could mount a counterattack. The Vikings were involved in a number of famous battles throughout history. One of the most well-known was the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which took place in 1066 in England. In this battle, a Viking army led by King Harald Hardrada of Norway was defeated by the English forces of King Harald Godwin's son. Another famous battle involving the Vikings was the Battle of Clontarf, which took place in Ireland in 1014. In this battle, a Viking army led by Sitrick Silkenbeard was defeated by the Irish forces of Brian Boru, who was killed in the battle. The Viking longship was the most frequently used type of vessel by the Vikings. It was a narrow, shallow draft vessel with a pointed bow and stern that allowed it to navigate shallow waters and make landings on beaches. The ship was typically constructed using planks of overlapping wood, which were nailed or sewn together with animal sinew. Viking ships were also equipped with a single square sail, which was used to catch the wind and propel the ship forward. The sail was made of wool or linen, and was often decorated with intricate patterns and designs. Viking ships were constructed using a combination of traditional shipbuilding techniques and innovative design features. The planks were typically hewn from oak or pine trees, and were shaped using an axe and adze. Once the planks were shaped, they were joined together using a variety of techniques, including clinker-style overlapping planks and mortise and tenon joints. The ships were also used for raiding and trading, and allowed the Vikings to gain access to new resources and markets. In addition to their practical uses, Viking ships also held great cultural significance for the Vikings. They were often decorated with intricate carvings and designs, which were believed to offer protection and bring good luck to the crew. Viking jewelry was often made from precious metals such as silver and gold, and featured intricate designs such as animals, birds, and geometric patterns. One of the most distinctive features of Viking jewelry was the use of twisted wire or filigree, which was used to create intricate patterns and shapes. Viking metalwork was highly skilled and often featured intricate designs and patterns. Viking metalwork was used to create weapons, armor, and everyday objects such as cooking utensils and household items. Viking woodwork was also highly skilled and often featured intricate carvings and designs. Viking ships were often decorated with elaborate carvings, as were everyday objects such as drinking horns and furniture. Viking artists used a variety of techniques to create their stunning works of art. These included engraving, filigree, repoussé, and inlay. Viking artists also used a variety of materials, including precious metals, bone, and antler. Viking art was not only visually stunning, but it also held great cultural and symbolic significance for the Vikings. Jewelry and metalwork were often used as status symbols and gifts, and were also believed to offer protection and bring good luck. 
During the Viking Age, the Vikings communicated using a language known as Old Norse, which was primarily spoken in Scandinavia. Old Norse was a Germanic language that is closely related to modern Scandinavian languages such as Swedish, Norwegian, and Icelandic. Old Norse had a significant influence on the development of modern English, with many words and phrases from Old Norse still in use today. One of the most notable features of Old Norse was its use of runes, an early form of writing that used symbols carved into stone or wood. These runes were often used to create inscriptions on weapons, jewelry, and other objects. Old Norse also had a rich literary tradition, with epic poems such as the Poetic Edda and the Prose Edda, which were written in the 13th century. These texts provide a valuable insight into the beliefs, values, and customs of the Viking Age. Despite the decline of Old Norse as a spoken language, it continues to be an important part of modern Scandinavian culture and is still taught in schools and universities. The Vikings had a lasting impact on Europe and the world today. Their seafaring and trading activities led to the establishment of trade routes and cultural exchange between Europe, Asia, and Africa. The Vikings also had a significant impact on European history, particularly in the areas of politics, art, and literature. The Vikings also left their mark on European art and architecture. The distinctive style of Viking art, which featured intricate metalwork, wood carvings, and jewelry, influenced the development of medieval European art. In addition, the Vikings were skilled shipbuilders, and their longships remain an enduring symbol of their seafaring prowess. The Vikings also had a significant impact on European politics and society. They established settlements and trading posts throughout Europe, and their raids and conquests had a profound impact on the political landscape of the region. The Vikings also played a key role in the formation of early European monarchies, particularly in Scandinavia. The Viking Age eventually came to an end due to several factors. One of the main reasons was the rise of Christianity in Scandinavia, which led to the conversion of many Vikings and a decline in the importance of Viking mythology and pagan rituals. Another factor was the establishment of centralized monarchies in Scandinavia, which led to the consolidation of power and a decline in Viking raiding and conquests. In addition, the increasing political and military power of other European nations, such as England and France, made it more difficult for the Vikings to carry out successful raids and maintain their dominance in the region. Finally, environmental factors, such as a series of volcanic eruptions in the mid-10th century, led to a decline in agricultural productivity and further economic instability, which weakened the Vikings' power and influence. In conclusion, the decline of Viking power was a complex process that was influenced by a range of factors, including the rise of Christianity, the establishment of centralized monarchies, increasing competition from other European nations, economic changes, and environmental factors. Despite their decline, the Vikings left a lasting impact on European history and continue to be a fascinating and enduring part of human history. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video informative and enjoyable. Please feel welcome to leave any comments or questions you may have in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on history.